friends for you i hope you are best welcome to my channel my topic today about which i give you information about what is data sanitization i will completely teach you about it but first of all if you are new so also please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so i start my topic about data sanitization uh, data sanitization was the secure and permanent uh, uh, eraser of sensitive data from data sets and media uh, to <coughs> guarantee that no residual data can be recovered even through extensive uh, forensic uh, <coughs> analysis data sanitization had a, a wide range of application but is mainly used for cleaning out of end of life electronic devices or for the sharing and use of large data sets that contain sensitive information the main strategy for erasing personal data from devices are physical destruction uh, cryptographic uh, erasure uh, eraser and data eraser while the term data sanitization may lead some to believe that it only includes data on electronic media it also uh, uh, broadly covers physical media such as paper copies this data type are termed so for electronic files and hard for physical media paper copies data sanitization methods are also applied for the cleaning of sensitive data such as through uh, heuristic based methods machine learning based method and k source uh, anon anonymity the issue is necessary as an increasing amount of data is moving to online storage which poses a privacy risk in the situation that the device is Resort to another individual uh, importance of data sanitization has risen in recent years as private information is increasingly stored in an electronic format and larger, more complex databases. Data sets are being utilized to distribute private information. Electronic storage has expanded and enabled more private data to be stored. Therefore, it required more uh, advanced and through data sanitization and technique to ensure that no data is left on the device once it is not longer in use technological tools that enable the transfer of large amount of data also allow more private data to be shared specifically especially uh, with the increasing uh, uh, popularity of cloud based information sharing and storage Data sanitization methods that ensure that all data shared is clean have become uh, a significant concern. Therefore, it is only sensible that governments and private industry create and enforce data sanitization policies to prevent data loss or other security uh, incidents. Data sanitization policy in public and private sectors. While the practice of data sanitization is common knowledge in most technical field it is not consistently uh, understood across all levels of business and government thus the need for the comprehensive data sanitization policy in government contracting and private industry is required in order to avoid the possible loss of data leaking of state secrets uh, of uh, adversaries uh, disclosing uh, pro uh, proprietary technologies are possibly being bared for contract competition uh, by government agencies. With the increasingly connected world, it has become even more critical that government companies and individuals follow specific data sanitization protocols to ensure that the confidentiality of information is sustained throughout its life cycle. The drift up is critical critical to the core information security trade of confidentiality integrity and why liability this cia trade especially a, a relevant to those who operate as government contractors or handle other sensitive uh, private information to this end Government contractors must follow specific data sanitization policies and use those policies to enforce the National Institute of Standard and Technology in recommended uh, guidelines for media sanitization over covered 
in NIFT special publication uh, 800 288. This is especially prevalent for any government uh, work which requires CUI control uh, on uh, unclassified information or above and is required by DF Airs class 252.204/7012. Safeguarding covered defense information and cyber incident reporting while private industry may not be required to follow NAFT 800-288 standards for data sanitization. It is typically considered to be a best practice across industries with sensitive data to further compound the issue. The on the shortage of cyber specialists and confusion on proper cyber hygiene has created a skill and funding gap for many government contractors. However, failure to follow these recommended sanitization policies may result in several consequences including losing data, leaking state secret to uh, adversaries, uh, losing proprietary technologies and preventing contract uh, competition by government agencies. Therefore, the government contract community must ensure its data sanitization policies as well defined and follow NIFT guidelines for data sanitization. Uh, additionally, while the core focus of data sanitization may seem to focus on electronic soft copy data, other data sources such as hard copy documents must be addressed in the same sanitization policies. Data sanitization products to examine the existing instances of data sanitization policies and determine the impacts of not development, utilizing or following these policy coordinates and recommendation research data was not only colleagues seen from the government contracting sector but also other critical industries such as defense, energy and trans uh, transportation. These were selected as they typically also fall under government regulations and therefore NIFT National Institute of Standards and Technology guidelines and policies would have applied in the native state primary uh, data A is from the study per, uh, performed by an independent research company called uh, Coleman pa uh, Parks Research in August 2019. This research project targeted many different senior cyber executives and policy makers while surveying over 1800 senior stakeholders. The data from Coleman Parks so showed that 96 organizations have a data sanitization policy in place. However, in the next day, only 62% of respondents felt that the policy is uh, communicated. Uh, well across the business, additionally, it reveals that remote and contract workers were the least likely to comply with data sanitization policies. This trend has become a more pressing issue as many government uh, contractors and private companies have been working remotely due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, the likelihood uh, of this continuing after the turn to normal working conditions is likely. On June 26, 2021, a basic Google search for data loss due to non sanitization returned over 20 million results. Uh, this includes articles on data breach and the loss of business military secrets and proprietary data losses, PHI protected health information, PII personally identifiable information and many art articles uh, on performing essential uh, data sanitization. Uh, many of these articles are support for shifting data sanitization and uh, security policy of companies and government entities such as the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency sample policy and guidance language for federal media sanitization based on these articles. And NIFT 
800-288 recommendation depending on its data security level or uh, categorization data should be cleared provided their basic level of data sanitization by overriding data sectors to remote any previous data demands data basic format would not include again the focus on is on electronic media this media is typically utilized if the media is going to be reused within the organization at the similar data security level and its part may use physical uh, decreasing or logical methods sector overrated to make the target media unreadable typically utilizes when media is not longer needed and is at a lower level of data security level destroyed uh, permanently rendered the data irretrievable and is commonly used when media is leaving an organization or has reached its end of life i.e paper shredding or hard drive media crushing and in uh, generation this media this method typically uh, utilized for media containing highly sensitive information as state secret which could case grave damage to national security or to the privacy and safety of individuals data sanitization roadblocks the international information system security if uh, uh, certification uh, consortium uh, 2020 cyber work work for study shows that the global cyber security industry still have over 3.12 million uh, unfilled uh, positions due to the skill uh, shortage uh, therefore those with the correct skill set to implement next 800288 in policies may come at a premium labor rate in additional in addition staffing and funding need to adjust and to meet policy need to properly implement the sanitization methods in tandem with appropriate data level categorization to improve data security outcomes and reduce data loss in order to ensure the confidentiality of consumer and client data government and private industry must create and follow consent uh, concrete uh, create data sanitization policies which align with best practices such as those outlined in NIST 800288 without consistent and enforce for the cyber security wage premium to attract qualified talent in order to prevent the loss of data therefore proprietary data personal information trade secrets and classified information it is only logical to follow best practices data sanitization policy must be comprehensive and include data levels and uh, correlating the sanitization method and the data sanitization policy created must be comprehensive and include all forms of media to include soft and hard copy data categories of data should also be defined so that appropriate sanitization laws will be defined under the sanitization policy this policy should be defined so that all laws of data can align to the appropriate sanitization method for example controlled and classified information or electronic storage devices may be cleared or work but those devices storing secret or top secret classified material should be physically destroyed any data sanitization policy should be enforceable uh, and show what department and management uh, structure has the responsibility to ensure that it is sanitized accordingly
<coughs> the policy will require a high level management campaign uh, uh, champion typically a chief information security officer or another c sword equivalent for the process and to define responsibility and uh, penalties for parties at all levels this policy a champion will include defining concepts such as the information system owner and information owner to define the chain of responsibility to offer data creation and eventual sanitization the ci as all other policy champions should also ensure funding is allocated to additional cyber security workers to implement it and enforce policy compliance Addi editing or uh, auditing requirements are also typically included to prove media uh, destruction uh, should be managed by these additional staff for small business and those without a broad cyber uh, background resources are available in the form editable data sanitization policy templates many groups such as the IDSC international data sanitization consortium provide this free of charge on their website without training in data security and sanitization principles it is unfeasible to expect user to comply with the policy uh, therefore the sanitization policy should include a matrix of introduction and frequency by job category to ensure that users at every level understand their part in complying with the policy this task should be easy to accomplish as most government uh, contractors are, are already required uh, to perform an annual information security training for all employees therefore additional content can be added to ensure data sanitization policy compliance sanitization sanitizing devices the primary use of data sanitization is for the complete cleaning of devices and destruction of all sensitive data once the storage device is no longer in use or is transferred to another information system this is an essential stage in the data security life cycle dsl and information life uh, life cycle management ilm both are approach for ensuring privacy and data management also throughout the usage of an electronic device as it ensures that all data is destroyed and unrecoverable when devices reach the end of their life cycle. These are three main methods of data sanitization for the complete uh, erasure of data physical destruction, uh, cryptographic uh, erasure and data eraser, all three uh, eraser methods aim to uh, ensure that deleted data cannot be uh, assessed even through advanced uh, forensic methods which maintains the privacy of individual data even after the mobile device is no longer in use physical destruction physical eraser involves the manual uh, destruction of stored data this method uses the mechanical uh, uh, shredders of uh, dexers to shred devices such as phones, computer, hard drive, and printer into small individual pieces. Uh, varying levels of data security levels require different levels of destruction. Uh, Degassing is most commonly used on hard, uh, hard drives and involves the uh, utilization of high energy magnetic field to permanently disrupt. So friends, what is my topic today about which I give you many information about. If you are like this my topic, so also please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon because when you do press the bell icon then you see my all content in this your YouTube page. So now I am going to my new topic. Take care. Allah peace